Good morning, everyone. This is Veena. Sastriya Namaste. Jai Shri Krishna. Salam Alaikum to everyone. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, I'm all alone today. Um, Narendraji was supposed to come, but he got uh, busy with something else. So anyway, it's good to be alone sometimes. And I uh, Sabko Shukrana. Shukrana and Shukrana. Today being a Friday, weekend bhi aagaya hai. And... Um, I want to wish everybody the best. And uh, okay, don't forget, but Monday, our very good program is going to There's somebody coming from India, so she's going to be here. But today, we talk about. I'm going to go back to what I was doing a couple of weeks ago. I started doing the part of Jabji Sahib, ka tha, part and his bodies. So I'm going to continue with that today again. And um, at the same time, um, I just want everyone to think about what is religion what is life what is you know we all different different things we pray karte hain, ye karte hain, but basically it comes down to the same thing what is your opinion about that and ab, main sabse ye chahongi, me. let me start uh, this is also a, 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 a and i think i finally resolved my music problem system but anyway still i have a lot way to go and uh, <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Kamlesh Ji. How are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. And um, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, start off with the Japji Saab part today. And I want to say this to you all. I start with the part. And um, here it is. First, I want to say something about part. I want to say something about Japji Saab. Contain, consists of the Mool Mantar, an opening salok, a set of 38 bodies, and a final salok. The Bani called Japji Saab appears at the very beginning of the Sri Guru Granth Saab, from page 1 to page 8, in the Holy Scriptures of the Sikhs. It, it, it is regarded as the most important Bani or set of verses by the Sikhs and is recited every morning by all practicing faithful of this religion. The word Jap means to recite or to chant and implies practicing this truthful path, path sorry, to achieve the aim of human life, that is to meet God. G is a word that is used to show respect as is the word Saib. So Japji Sahib is said to be the, like I said, condensation of the whole of the Shri Guru Granth Sahib. And whoever recites this Bani with love, dedication, and humility will have the complete blessing of Akal Purak, Almighty Lord, the Creator. One who regularly recites Japji Sahib daily will gain spiritual peace and tranquility, wisdom about the mysteries of God's creation, understanding, and appreciation of the ups and downs of, of life. The knowledge and confidence to move forward in this world at a higher moral level. The ability to become an inspiration to others and a support for the many. The Bani will have a magical influence on your life. Of course, this Bani was composed by the founder of the faith, Siri Guru Nanak Dev Ji was the first of 10 human gurus of this faith. The 10 gurus Sikh of Sikhism were responsible for the creation of this faith, which took place over the period from 1469 to 1708, or a period of about 239, I think a little bit more now, years. At that point, when the last of the, these gurus departed this earth, the guruship was passed on to the Sikh holy scriptures Siri Guru, the Granth, Granth Sahib. The Sikh treat the SGCS as a living Guru and the respect shown for the Shabbat or message of the Gurus is unique. So I will read a little bit. 
uh, I will start with the first one. I think I did about seven, eight already. But anyway, first I want to talk a little bit about uh, all of you. Let me go back to Zoom. One minute. And uh, okay, here it is. Okay. Um, as it is, you know, um, this body is made when I have a they have a very deep meaning. So I say sometime I mean, I try to get the English translation for it. Um, and I think I will that's that's what I have right now. And I will lead read, I think from eight, number nine, I think I did up till nine. So I'm gonna read number nine. Up till eight, I did up, and then I'm gonna read the ninth now. Sunni a isar bar. Listening, a person becomes capable of doing anything. Ishwar. Sune e muk sala. Listening, even the idiot shall become a capable of give, of giving advice to all others. Sunni al jog jugal tan baya. Meaning that a person yoga can do yoga and the and the secrets of the body are known. Sunni al sa sa sasat simrat vad. Listening politics, meditation, and the Vedas are learned. This is how we learn everything, by listening. Nanak, Bhakta, Sada, Vigas. O Nanak, the devotees are forever a bliss. Suni, a duk, Pap, Ka, Nas. Listening, pain, and sin are destroyed. So, again, I will say, it is not that easy to understand. So, if you go and listen to the translation, and like I just said, it's the beginning of the Granth Sab, I'm Sab Subay Utke Ye Paat Karte Hain. So if you do it, you'll get a peace of mind and uh, a lot of like meditation you can do. You can, you can feel the, feel good about yourself. If you do this first thing in the morning, that's what I, I believe in. Um, and now my number, 10th Pratiyo. This is the... Sune Sara Guna Ke Gaan. Listening, give deep into the ocean of virtue. Suni ye sak peer pati sha. See, these are different words for me also to pronounce. Um, a person becomes religious, scholars, spiritual teachers, and emperors. Suni ye andhabha pavai rahu. Listening, even the blind find the path. Suni ye hath hove asgahu. Listening, the unreachable comes within grasp. grasp. Nanak Bhakta Sada Vigas. Nanak, the devotees are forever in bliss. Suni ye duk paap ka nas. Listening and pain, sinna erase. I think that's the one I read before again, but anyway, um, it's okay to read it again. And the next one that I have is Mane ki gaat kahi na jai. The state of the believer cannot be destroyed. Je ko kahe piche pachtao e. The one who tries shall regret the attempt. Kagad na kalam na likankar. Neither paper nor pen can narrate. Mane ka bhai kaha bichar. Many study the concept of faith. Asa naam niranjan hoye. Such personality obtains purity. Ke jo man janal me koi. If one understands mind is different than self. So again, a lot of food for thought. So I'm not going to be here that you know too long today since I'm all by myself. But um, I just want to reiterate the same thing that um, normally on Fridays we have Narendra Ji narrating the World Peace Prayer, and I will just say this thing that World Peace to hum sabhi ka sakte hain. In my mind, in our mind, we should always pray for the best for everything. And whatever is happening in the world, you know, we cannot single person do anything about it. But we can pray that there's peace in some places. A lot of people passed away I mean, they're trying to go to a different country they're trying to do all that all that stuff it's not easy to i don't know why i mean there are a lot of problems people staying in their own country they have issues they have religion not the religion freedom poverty so they then they try to go to different countries to get some something that they can they cannot get where they live so it's not easy for the people to do that you know it's very very i would say um thank you thank you so much um anyway so that's what i was trying to say and uh, my message is this again peace peace on earth peace on everybody and up uh, your religion of course it's always there you have your own faith but basically like always we say that in the end they're all the same so if you listen to any religion any any place christianity major 
Jewish religion, any religion you go to, you like the same thing. Okay, don't do this to anybody, don't do that, don't do this, don't do bad to anybody, be nice to everybody, help each other. Um, that's in all the all the all the different different religion may hota hai. So I would say the same thing. So let's uh, I'm gonna put another Shabbat on, which is also one of my favorites. Maybe I'll just uh, thoda gabi leti hu. Pada hua hai I will just say that. And good morning to uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, I'll just see today uh, Kamlesh ji and Asha ji. Ritu Anand is here. Thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, that's what I I just I believe in too. But I'm gonna sing a little bit um, right here. Um, not with the music. Okay. जो मांगे ठाकुर अपने ते सोई सोई देवे जो मांगे ठाकुर अपने से सोई सोई देवे नानक दास मुख ते जो बोले इया हुआ सच होवे नानक दास मुख ते जो बोले इया हुआ सच होवे जो मांगे था कुर अपने ते सोई सोई देवे जो मांगे था कुर अपने ते सोई सोई देवे yeah we have a double music coming and uh, okay i will uh, put uh, some shabad on again which i like thodi der ke liye lagate hain kar kripa tere much because flag and uh, then they give the kind of punish you this facebook they are becoming very very strict so you have to be very a certain time but i don't want to close that so um, you know i will just start the you know like actually what we do is we recite this prayer yeah uh, meaning double music coming and uh, okay i will put uh, this prayer I will close the sound. 
ओके आठ है गया जब जी साहब एक कुंडकार इज ओनली वन गॉड सत नाम श्रुत इज इज नेम करता पुरक निर्भाव निर्वैर अकाल मूर्त ही इज अ क्रिएटर प्रोटेक्टर विदाउट फेयर नो एनमिटी द फर्स्ट एंड एंटिटी अजूनी साहिबा गुर प्रसाद जप नेवर बॉर्न सेल्फ परपेचुएटिंग विद गुरुज ग्रेस डिसाइड आज सच जुगाद सच ट्रू इन द बिगिनिंग ट्रू थ्रू द एजेस है बी सच नानक होसी बी सच ट्रू इवन नाउ एंड से इज नानक विल बी ट्रू इन द फ्यूचर सो दिस इज द जब जी साहब का जो हम शुरू करते हैं जब पौड़ियाँ पढ़ने तो ये फर्स्ट एक्चुअली सो नाउ आई डिड अटेंड पौड़ीज ऑलरेडी लेट मी सी फाइ कैन डिसाइड ऑल मोर मोर दैन नो दिस इज ऑल डन ओके सो वट आई विल डू इज आई विल जस्ट टेल यू नाउ अबाउट दिस पास्ट वीक वट वी हैड वी हैड on wednesday we had um, a very nice person shiri she came she had come and she did a wonderful wonderful program regarding the ten, the five zones of this this world where people have long lives so i don't know if you remember hearing that but if you don't didn't see the program please go back and listen to that and then you'll realize what good what are they doing that we are not doing at the same time so what we had was um, she told us that you know the certain things in life that we can follow and i realized that you know a lot of the things we already doing that we already doing those things so i i was saying you know what i'm thinking i said you know not to overeat not to do this and do some exercise all the time uh do some community community service uh you know be with your families be with very true friends who are good to you or be with some group of people that you are comfortable with so you should you should do that uh more often and eat the right food a lot of them eat uh basically less meat and uh, more like a vegan type um a lot of beans and a lot of vegetable a lot of fruits mediterranean you can say mediterranean diet is also like that so usko follow karo so it was a really really very uh, inform inform informative program i really liked it a lot and then on monday we had uh, dr arun I remember I think she said to call her like that so she was also very good she lives in um, in Texas so she had come after a long time but she also told taught us the importance or not the very importance of so many taking so many supplements which we all do uh, you know without realizing that do we need it or not but just because so and so said it so we take it but do we really need it if you have a proper diet you don't need those things so that also the program was actually a very 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 informative too informative so next week we having um on monday we i'm having a very nice person coming from um india new delhi her name is anu anu kalra and um, she does a lot of meditation she talks about you know about life about different things and very inspirational and uh, she she says she likes to help the people and i'll just tell you a little bit about her what she to, what she wrote to me and i was really impressed when she said that to me and um um she basically um i think teaches a lot of people she had a job also she retired uh, if i'm not mistaken and uh, she she said that she'll just read her a little bit about her she likes to paint she likes to do a lot of things that you know which we all sometimes we like to do painting we like to do certain things we just give it up because you know time nahi hota ye nahi hota but she said make a time and she had a career advertising and spanning over which was over 25 years and anu has devoted her life to nurturing people into embodying their best selves a visiting master at ananda visiting faculty at mbas institutes speaker at fortune like ypo fcci flow delhi university a published a published author an artist with many solo art exhibitions to her name multitude of tv appearances featured writing in national and international publications and awards She is a coach and a mentor to many. She inter interprets traditional wisdom in the modern context through her writings, paintings, and sharing, through workshops and personal counseling sessions. She not only does tarot, that card readings, but has herself created a self-help system of guidance and meditation 
cards based on her paintings of Hindu gods and goddesses and written a book of interpretation for the same. Her message is very simple. The outer world is a reflection of our inner state and it takes deep inner work to bring about the harmony and well-being in our lives. She facilitates and supports this inner work through various systems and processes from yogic asan asanas and pr pranayams, mantra chantings, neuro-linguistic programming techniques, healing, meditations, journaling, and techniques of affirmations and gratitude and much more. So uh, that's going to be on Monday. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to meeting and she's a very nice person to speak to as well. I was, speak, so I was uh, speaking to her the other day and uh, she's going to come on Monday. So I'm looking forward to that. So once again, I will say thank you all for joining. It's not a, it wasn't a very long session. I just didn't want to miss it because certain people could not come. I mean, you know, everybody has their own um, agenda and uh, sometimes they miss it. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't come. So uh, there's a long weekend coming up. People are doing a lot of things. So um, everybody is busy. So, but I wanted to, didn't want to skip this thing because, you know, I do it every Friday unless I'm sick or something. I don't want to miss it. So I, I didn't want you to come, although maybe alone, I was not the best person to do this thing or pass the message on. But my message is always the same, be safe and uh, help anybody you can, if you uh, your friends or anybody who, who, who needs a helping hand, whoever needs any guidance or something, please do that. And um, and all of them see what's happening, what's happening, he understands. And I you know God is always with you, wherever you are, is within you, remember that. We learned that from uh, from Durandaji many times, and um, so I will say have a lovely weekend, and uh, I'll see you back here on Monday. If you can make it, fine, that'll be nice. Otherwise, the program will be on, and you can always listen to it later on. I know it's a July Fourth weekend; is a long, it's a long weekend. Uh, for a lot of people, are taking Monday off because Tuesday is July Fourth, uh, Independence Day for this country, and um, and I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Saturday and Sunday, I know it's full of um, different activities. People are packed, with, you know, they want to go here and there. There's so much to do because the summer is only for a few months over here, and especially in this, this part of the world. And uh, everyone wants to enjoy it to the max. They go to the beach, they go to picnics, they, they have barbecues, they have um, all kinds of stuff with their friends. They go out, you know, do all kind of go outing, to, or go, you know, go out to the parks. And you see, if you go by the park, you see a lot of people with their families, they're having uh, get togethers and, uh, you know, enjoying the life. So I want to wish you all the best. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, the best of everything. And I'll see you back here again on Monday. So thank you. And I have a great weekend. I'm going to uh, sign off with Let's see. Hope they don't. Okay. I like to go with that. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody.